Hi, and welcome back to the channel. As you'll know, I am Day. Now, this is a special episode. So again, I needed a really adequate sous chef. So please give a round of applause for Night Sauce. <laughs> Anywho, she's here, she's happy. You're happy, right? Yes. And today we are trying something we have never tried before. Never, ever. Never, ever, 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 ever. And we are trying to make Olive Garden, but at home. Not just one dish, not two dishes, but three of them suckers. All right, so we said three course meal realness. We got ourselves a soup. I think it's the Tuscan soup. Mm -hmm. We got ourselves a little main course of fettuccine alfredo. And we heard that, you know, we heard that the Garden of the Olive is known for a certain type of breadstick. So we gonna make it today. All right. From scratch. In the help of this book, so this book is called Secret Restaurant Recipes, and it's in my bio if you wanna buy it. I am not paid to do this. I wish I was, but I'm not. It has a bunch of recipes from American staples. And as we are not American, you know, we oh, wanted to try it. Canada. Mm -hmm. We wanted to try this. I'll make it look scrum dilly yum yum on the internet. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is I'm assuming that we have to make the breadcrumb, not the breadcrumbs, bread first. Yes ma'am. Because from what I'm reading here, we got some yeast involved and I'm, assu I'm assuming we got a little yeast, like the dough. dough. Like it needs to rise, you know? So we're gonna start a little earlier. It's not dinner time, technically, it's lunch time. So I'm going to name the ingredients and my lovely sous chef will show you all what we need to make. I said, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. This. So we're gonna hold need- on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sous chef, yeah, damn. Well, you, chef, you placed it somewhere I can't reach. A little sense. Okay, I think I'm ready. We need water. We got that. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't about to stress. I was like, the one thing I don't have. <laughs> we need some butter. We need some all purpose flour. Some sugar. Some activated dry yeast. Some salt. And some coarse salt. This is the coarse, this is the sauce. We're also going to need garlic powder. Amazing. And this should make 16 breadsticks. Anyways, we're gonna start. Huh? 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 Wait, what's the first step? Huh? Oh, the first step? <laughs> okay, okay. I just skipped to the microwave part because I ain't got one of those. I thought we were gonna have to abort mission. But no, it says so um, we can use a saucepan, so we're good. So, so we boil the water first and, we'll and the then butter. we're gonna add the butter. So first step, we're not following the book. So <laughs> what's wrong? Can you guys read this? Cause if you can't, don't feel bad. Cause neither can I. It's been scrubbed off. What's step scrubbed? two? So when the book asks for a stand mixture, a stand mixer. It's that mixer that I want. I know, but I can use a relaxer. <laughs> yes. Because I'm like, if I, why didn't you put that in the ingredients list that I needed a stand mixer? That's not just like an all everywhere like appliance. People are poor too, book. Insufficient funds, you ain't got no money. Okay, I'm gonna start prepping, or do you wanna start prepping the second step? Okay, okay. Just getting butter. In that bowl, you're gonna need to put four cups of flour. We're gonna have to do that again through my time. I was about to say. Okay, this is one. I took it off the elements because for sure this mixture is 100 degrees. 
Okay. Just gonna let the butter do its thing. Rada! Welcome! Whoa! Oh, well, wait, look at her tail. Whoa. She got scared of her own damn self. Whoa, I've never seen her tail get that big before. So, I thought that was just in movies or like, like cartoons and stuff. I didn't know their tails could actually buzz up like that. Do you need scissors? I'm shot. I don't want to open up. Chew. So, do you, do you need scissors? No, I'm just like, je sais les spies, see? So, 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 so do you want scissors to be more precise? Sure. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it ain't gonna stop when I see what that's happening right now, but okay. Oh well, would you look at that? Still felt like it's over, but if you guys have ever baked with like those stand mixers, which ones do you guys prefer? Like, is there a specific company that has like the best baking utilities? Leave in the comments below. This is a workout. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? I just cracked four fingers without even trying. It would flop if it wasn't kneaded enough or over kneaded. Kind of like, you know how like cake rises? Mm. Something like that. So it's looking way better. Should we tap in the one that's been kneading for like. No, you don't get to need the Not dough. Not you. You're literally. You made biscuits, but yeah. even then, barely. No. No. It's not the same recipe product. You can't oh, make. You don't know what we're doing. We don't even know what we're doing. <sighs> well, guys, I guess we're gonna come back to you when the dough is doughing. Okay, guys. All right, say the dough has risen ish. So you're telling me employees in the back of an Olive Garden is doing this shit? It probably comes pre. How do you know? The subway. But we're not making subway. See, it works for the restaurants every restaurant. I doubt every restaurant is the same. Even the back in, uh, back in Domino's Pizza Dough and in New Zealand goes from Texas, frozen. Ask me how I know. Nobody is gonna ask you how you know because nobody cares. My friend wants oh my gosh. <laughs> Like, if you have to tell somebody, ask me how I know. Nobody was gonna ask you to begin with. Quiet. Salons! Guess who's learning French on Duolingo? Salons! They don't teach that on Duolingo. We're going to our soup, which is the Tuscan soup. Pick up that oil. The oil has to heat up before we put the sausage, or else the sausage is gonna be oily. Why, thank you, sous chef. You're welcome. Seasoning, bro. I have to. I have to put a shit ton. Nah, I can't do this. I can't do this. I won't. I'll sacrifice the rest of my old bay. After that, I'll, I'll stick to the recipe. Well, she's got to taste like something. 
See, doesn't this have already a prettier color? Prices averted. It's a lot of fucking potatoes. No? Sorry, the way it just fell all at once. It's a lot of fucking soup. I would have had this for a week. Ooh, I got my soup molds. We can use these. Soup molds. Put them in the fridge. But, but the potatoes gonna fit in that. That's what I was about to say because it's chunky on that. Sure. What? Do you want to blend it out? Ew, no, there's meat. You're, yeah, one at a fucking time. How about you do that yourself, Knight? What you doing? Yeah? Water in a pot. Give me a shit. It's mighty professional. <laughs> so I put it on high to get it going. Look at it until it starts bubbling. Sounds good. Sounds good. Something's happening in here. It's not quite boiling just yet. I'm so excited. <sighs> looky, looky. Now it's going in the oven. Why, well, thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Let me run to go get the other one. Hey Google, set a 15 minute timer. All right, 15 minutes, starting now. Now, we're gonna put in the fittish in. And I'm going to add whipping cream to that one right there. That little soup, that naughty sausage. Look at our little friends in there. Just getting all warm and cozy. You can't see it, because I don't clean this. I'm sorry, forget about my, what I was saying. In here, we have some whipping cream and some butter. Now, we're adding some salt, some white pepper. They said a heaps. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's some nutmeg. I'm gonna add a, that's it. Now we start for two minutes. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Oh my god. Here you go. What are you guys having for supper? Leave it in the comments below. It would be lovely. It would be lovely for us to hear from you guys. If there's a restaurant that you guys want us to try to find recipes for, leave it in the comments below as well. If there's anything you guys want us to cook, leave it in the comments below. Adding some Parmesan. And then slowly, and then we're whisking. Look at it. In here. Mm-hmm. One more. Hey. Oh, shit. I need to heat up that garlic butter. Ooh. Look what Knight did. She drained the pasta after she's cooked it. Now I'm gonna take the sauce. And you hear that? You know you're doing it right when it sounds like this. In all aspects of life. We keep your phone. She's souping. Yup. Okay, okay. Bread update. bread it's all that matters I guess all right it's that time y'all mm-hmm what does the book say that I need to do now that's a very good question so we kind of missed it. We were supposed to put this butter before and after. 
So I'm gonna be way more generous with how much I'm putting. So I'm gonna go, <laughs> I'm gonna go heat up the entire stick. Mm -hmm. This is smelling so good. Do you smell it? What product? What? Speak your truth. Yep, yep, yep. Just a day of work, guys. Day of work. <laughs> well, these are smelling fantastic. All right, y'all. We're gonna we're gonna plate. And we're gonna show you guys and we're gonna do the taste test with you guys. Yum! So the food is ready. How is everybody doing? Everybody's excited? Mm-hmm. Yummy. Fettuccine Alfredo. The soup rinds. And then, of course, we have the pound of breadsticks. I'm just gonna pick up one to show y'all. Let's just start eating and see where things take us. Start. Start with the soup, actually. That's a risky business right there. All I have to say mm -hmm. is praise the Lord. I added the seasonings I added. This Italian seasoning, we love her. But God damn. It wasn't gonna do nothing here. This fettuccine is really good. The fettuccine is good? Mm hmm. I'm gonna try it now. Ooh, this fettuccine Alfredo sharp. This tastes really good. This fettuccine Alfredo, if this is how it tastes in, Al in Olive Garden, so far this is my favorite. I'm gonna try the garlic bread, which we kinda missed it, but hey. Hard. Two things. One, I think our mess up could have changed the taste of the inside, but also if I were to do this again, of course I would need less, but I would have probably added garlic like powder in this mixture because right now the garlic butter that I smothered in, in earlier is doing all the work, but it's not as dense as it felt. Like this felt like a wet, this feels like a weapon. But it's actually like, do you guys see that? It actually has bounced. It's not too, it's not bad. If I were to rank my at home Olive Garden experience, I would rank it as following. Fettuccine Alfredo to the top. And then I would put um, the soup and the garlic bread. Mm. I just dip her into the soup. Yes ma'am. Let me try that. Actually, let me try the soup before I do that. I feel like you've made this before. Soup is super good. Pasta is brilliant. Garlic bread, I don't know. Because I eat garlic bread. And this garlic bread is garlic bread, which I don't know about. And there you have it. That is our at home Olive Garden experience. Yeah, we're enjoying our food. It's super yummy. We're gonna have some family time. And of course, if you wanna see this lady's face again, you just have to let us know. Because she is not far. <laughs> and she is willing to come back. Well, I hope. I mean, the food's good. Right? Here's her socials. And yeah, on that note, have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And 